Hey guys, welcome to channel DevKage. In this Flutter basics video, we are going to talk about the radio widget. So instead of wasting any time in explanation, let's directly get into the code. Here I have a simple Flutter app with a text widget in center of the scaffold displaying radio demo. So let's remove this text widget and add a column widget. The children list property of this column, I'll add a radio widget. Radio widget has three required properties, a value, a group value and an on changed callback function. So I'll quickly duplicate this radio widget three more times. If you check the documentation of radio class, you'll find that we can specify a type parameter for this widget. So to show you how to use this type parameter, I'll quickly create a new enum called type. This enum will have four values type 1, type 2, type 3 and type 4. And now I will set the type parameter for radio widgets as type. Now if you check the data type of value property, you can see that it is of the type that we specified for this radio widget. So let's quickly set the value for these radio widgets as type 1, type 2, type 3 and type 4. This is like an unique ID for each radio widget. Then next, for the group value, we need to specify an object which manages the state of these radio widgets. I'll create a new state variable of type type and name it my type with its initial value as type dot type one. Now we can set the group value for all the radio widgets as my type. So basically, whenever value of my type will be same as the value property of any radio widget, that radio widget will be marked as selected. And finally, the onChanged callback will be a function which takes current type. Inside this function, I'll use setState to copy value of type to my type. And now, if I save this, you can see that these radio widgets become active and I can pick any one of them by tapping them. Right now, we don't have any label for these four widgets. One way to add labels is to add radio widget as leading widget of list style. But luckily, Flutter already has a widget called Radio List Style, which does exactly the same. So if I change all the four radio widgets to Radio List Style widgets, I can use the title property of Radio List Style to display labels. So now, let's see a somewhat practical example where you might use Radio Widget. For that, I'll revert back from Radio List Style to Radio Widget and then I'll make this column widget a row widget. This will arrange the radio widgets horizontally. Let's bring them to center by setting main axis alignment to main axis alignment dot center. This looks good enough. Now let's quickly wrap this row inside a column widget. And before this row, I'll add an icon widget. So the basic idea is to change this icon depending on the selection of different radio widgets. Most probably you will have an image widget here, but I'm using icons just for example. Let's set the main axis alignment for this column as main axis alignment dot center. Now to display different icons for different radio widgets, we'll need to map type to icon data. So I'll create a const map of type to icon data. Let's call this one as icon map. In this map, I'll map each member of type enum to an unique icon data. Now instead of this icon dot account circle, we can index into icon map and get its corresponding icon data. If I save this and check in the app, you can see that now depending on the selection, the icons change. You might have seen similar thing in most of the e-shopping apps. They display multiple images of a product using similar technique. So that was it for this video. I hope you found it useful. If you did, do hit that like button and consider subscribing for more such content. I hope to see you in the next one.